So the first thing that we need to do is, of course, we need to get ourselves some text. You can do this by going to the text tool, left click on the screen, drag this out, and then type in your text. Just type in anything that you want. And we're also going to set the scale to something like a thousand. And the font that I'm using is called Billion Dreams. It is such a nice font. So if you'd like to download it, there'll be links down below in the description. You can then go ahead and drag the box in to make sure it fits onto the text. You can then go to the first tool and you want to press Control, Alt and Home. This will center align your anchor point and then you can center align your text as well. What we need to do now in order to create the animation, we need to make sure we are selecting the text layer and we want to get ourselves the pen tool. You can also zoom in to make it easier for you to see by changing the scale. And what we're going to do now is we're going to create the bone structure of this text. We can achieve this by simply left clicking once and then you want to left click again with the pen tool, drag this out and get yourself a curved line. You then want to drag this one back in all the way to the start. And then from here, we can get ourselves the next curved point. So you want to do this throughout your text and you want to make sure that all of your letters have been included. And once we get to the very last one, we're just going to left click on here and finish it right about here. What we're going to do now is we're going to left click off the text and we want to left click back onto the text and this will create ourselves a new mask. And with this new mask, we want to left click on the next letter, drag this down, get yourself another selection of the letter and then continue on doing the same step as before. And there we go. Once you've applied all of your lines, you can then go into the effects and presets and you want to search for an effect called stroke. It will be the generate stroke, left click on here and then drag this onto your text layer. From here, we want to tick all masks. We want to go down to the bottom and select the reveal original image. And what this will do is it will hide the original image and now we can customize the brush size and the hardness. So for the brush size, we want this to be at least, let's say somewhere around 64 seems to work okay with this one. We can even increase it to something like 68 if it wants to. We can then select ourselves the brush hardness. So what this will do is this is the brush and how soft the edges are going to be. So as you can see at this point right here, we have a nice little feather on the actual brush itself. So in order to animate this, all we need to do is click on the stopwatch for the end. We want to open this up, go into the effects, stroke, and you want to drag this out, which is the 100%. And then in here, you want to set this one to zero. So what this will do is it will make it go from zero to 100. And if you have a look at your animation, it will start to reveal your text. However, at the moment, if we preview this and have a look at the video, it is really slow. So we can adjust the timings just by simply dragging the end keyframe further in, and this will make it play a lot quicker. And there we go, that looks a lot better. However, at the moment, it's not as smooth as we want it to be. So what you can do is you can left click on here, get yourself a selection, right click on the keyframe and set this to a easy ease. And what you'll notice is this is a lot smoother compared to the other animation. And that's pretty much it. That's how you create the hand drawing text animation. If you would like to see how to create the random letter reveal effect, then click on the screen and watch the next After Effects tutorial.